One person is dead and several others hurt after a five car collision. It happened this afternoon in Phoenix near 67th Avenue and Camelback and several good Samaritans came to the rescue. Fox 10's Lauren Clark is live with the details tonight. Lauren. Well, Brian, this crash happened uh, just after noon, and you can see hours later that there's still quite the scene here. We don't have all the details about what exactly led up to the crash or the status of the victims as of right now, but we did speak to some people who were involved, who witnessed all of this happening, and hearing them talk about it, they say the neighbors here were truly, they say, the heroes of the situation who didn't just think but sprung into action. Yeah, that, that is just insane to me. Walking in this Maryville neighborhood, Ulysses says he's shocked by the sight. Man, I feel so bad for whoever's relatives to them. A devastating crash off 67th Avenue and Coolidge Street, killing one person and injuring nine others in a five-car collision, flipping one car on its side and leaving others crumpled from the force. I went down to my friend's house. I was driving down 6th, 7th, I'm going to Camelback. And I seen a charger losing control. They just lost control. This man says he was one of the drivers involved in the crash. He's okay, but didn't want to show his face. As soon as that happened, I pulled over, tried to help everyone. Everyone from the neighborhood started helping. One of those neighbors. And I heard someone screaming, so we came outside running, take a look, and we saw that car crash and the car was on fire, engulfed, and just bunch of disarray going on. Was David Castro. Neighbors came out and started giving a hand. The, the kid was trapped inside the car. Um, they couldn't pop it open. He was on. He was burning, but they were ripping the door until so they all finally got him out and pulled him out. He says he saw people turn into heroes. My neighbor actually ran across the street, uh, came back to the house, got his holes, put out the fire, and it was actually directing traffic. So he was kind of like a Superman. Police are still trying to determine what caused the crash. But Rick Murray with the Arizona chapter of the National Safety Council says today's tragedy is a troubling reminder of something happening too often on our roads. We need to take it as a, as a responsibility that it, it really is as we are driving around with everybody else. We're taking everybody else's lives into our own hands as we are getting into that car. And as officers process the scene for hours outside his home, David says he's proud of his community for stepping up. Family, no matter what. So. That's how Maryville always been, so, you know. And police say that they are expecting to release more information about the details leading up to the crash, as well as the victim statuses later tonight. Reporting live here in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.